Hello, and we are going to be talking about another preview in the Euro 2020 Championships. This time coming from Group D and E. Uh, there's been some real good football and some real good uh, actually officiating this time around on um, on this. So we're just going to crack straight on with these. So nice group here. We've got the first game, which is from Group D. Um, and we've got Croatia up against the Czech Republic. Now, obviously, Croatia lost to England last time out, 1-0. Um, this is actually the second game of the day. Um, and they're taking on the Czech Republic, who beat Scotland uh, by two goals in all. So... This one is, is a coin flip. Um, you know, Croatia are going to feel a little bit hard done by. Uh, you know, because England ourselves, we didn't play that great. Uh, they probably would have felt like they could have got something out of that and probably should have got something out of that. And so obviously it's, it's um, you know, a little bit disappointing for them. But will that take it on as motivation? We'll have to wait and see. And the Czech Republic obviously going to be bu buzzing a bit in the Scots. So who do I think is going to win this one? Um, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Croatia. I think Croatia are going to make this by two goals to one. Um, I just think they've got a little bit more quality going through their side. And uh, they look more like... Uh, you know, if they can get their football going and get, the, uh, get clicking, I think you know, they're going to call the Czechs um, some problems. But the Czech Republic are going to be a, a tricky team. So I wouldn't rule them out, but I'm going to go 2-1 to Croatia. Uh, I'm going to go on to the first game before we talk about the big one. Well, it's been English. Uh, it's uh, Sweden against Slovakia. Now, the Swedes, all I can say about them is well done. Uh, getting a nil-nil draw. I mean, against the Spanish, I believe. And they, they they were absolutely immense defensively, absolutely immense. Um, they didn't have many chances. All they had two chances: one that hit the one that hit the post, one real real good chance that hit the post, and they were very very unfortunate to score that. Uh, the Spanish were very very annoyed. I think. I think a lot of the fans were very, very annoyed. Uh, but that was a very, very creditable draw for Sweden. Uh, unexpected, but got. And their opponents, obviously Slovakia. It, it's going to be a, a tough one, this. Uh, I'm going to go for Sweden. Because I think now they can sort of let themselves go a little bit. You know, they can start to progress their style of football so i'm going to say sweden to win by a goal to nil um because they can think wow we got away with a point against the spanish uh, another win would almost certainly get us there so you know it's it's a good chance that it could come off and then we go to the big one. Uh, England. <laughs> a home nations clash, shall we call this. England against Scotland. Uh, now, my opinion on this game is, if England play anything like they did in the first game against Croatia, I think Scotland could trip us up. Because I think... Uh, I think Scotland have got some handy players there, you know. Don't be, um, don't underestimate Scotland. Um, we definitely didn't play our best, but we got our first ever win uh, in the opening group game at the Euros ever. So I'm going to say England to win by two goals to nil. And... I know a lot of people don't like him. I'm going to go Raheem Sterling to 
scored one and Harry Kane hopefully to get the other one. But I don't think, even though I say 2 0, I don't think it's going to be that straightforward. I think England are going to have another test. Um, and so I'm going to go, like I said, for England to Scotland nil. And that's uh, that's my preview for the European Championships uh, groups D and E. Uh, what are your thoughts on tomorrow's games? Uh, who do you think is going to win? Do you think there's going to be a draw? Do you, you know, who do you think will qualify? Uh, let me know. Um, and I will catch you very soon with a, another video. I hope you enjoy this one. Like, subscribe if you do. Comment and let me know your predictions for tomorrow's matches. See you guys soon.